How's it going, PD team? I've got a special and important video for you today. It covers the continuation of the powerful all new Boolean tool in Cinema 2025. This tutorial is brought to you by Simon Trick Filmer user who said, hey, this thing's powerful, but till you want to do a simple Boolean plane, it doesn't work without a volume. And I responded, the bools are for closed subjects only. You are correct. Now this response is not totally truthful. You can do it on a plane and I'm going to show you how with a couple tricks. Now, one thing I discovered is that this new Boolean tool can also be used in subdivision modeling in some cases. And I'll show you that as an example. This was a pleasant surprise with the all new update. So let's dive in. So here I have a simple plane geometry. There's, I've shown the edges so you can see that there's no subdivisions. I set it to 400 by 400 and one by one. So it's just one polygon object. I'm going to go ahead and add a cylinder. I'm going to reduce the segments. I'll leave the rotation segments and then I'm just going to make the radius to 100. What we'll do then is we'll go ahead and add a Boolean object, drag the two elements inside. We want to slice this flat geometry. And to do that, we just change the property to without and then we change the order and there we go. So we're now cutting a flat plane using a solid piece of geometry. So in my response, you can use the Boolean object to trim a flat surface plane object and cut a hole out, but it needs to be a closed object that is the cutter. Okay, so let me go ahead and delete this. And I want to show you now how to make it work with the subdivision surface model. So here's the same size plane with the same segments. But then what I did is I turned on snapping and then locked it to the grid and did a perfect snap cut in all four corners of this plane so that we get sharp edges. These are construction planes that help the sharper edges. Next, what I'll do is I'll go in here and add a cylinder. I'll set it to 80 rotation segment set to one. And now I'm going to do a subdivision. So I'm going to reduce the segments down to eight and change the order, add a Boolean object, add the plane in, add the cylinder in, change the union to without, and we have our cut. Next, what we can do in the order of operations, we can add a subdivision surface, drag our object in, and you can see we actually get good geometry. We get quads, we got sharp edges, and we have some nice tangents and everything's kosher. So you can see we have a perfect cutout using subdivision surface modeling. This was a pleasant surprise to see that the new Boolean object in 2025 with the subdivision model tools. Whereas before, if I disable the subdivision, what it used to do is it would have done a support line from this point to here, this one to here, giving us triangles, which is not very good for subdivision. It wouldn't work. So here we're actually getting quads and you can see we have quads because of the way the geometry lines are set up. What a pleasant surprise. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Let me know how it goes in the comment section below. Thank so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content. Thanks for your support.